Hello, it's Kaiser here with a little tutorial on how to make your own Star Trek CCG booster packs. Now, as you can see, I've got a first contact booster pack here. Of course, I won't be able to produce anything like that with my home printer and my little arts and craft project here. But this is what I have been able to come up with. Little packages that are roughly the same size and dimension and style as the Star Trek CCG decipher packs. If you go to the back side, they had a couple of uh, lines of information about what's in them, and I tried to reproduce that layout with my own designs. And what I did was include a little bit of information about the respective event and just put a little bit of promotion items on there as well. And with the QR codes, you can actually look up the deck lists that were played at that tournament. And this is supposed to, to be a little bit of Trek CCG tournament scene memorabilia. Now, how did I create those? It's really not all that difficult. You just need to come up with your own graphics in whichever program you like. And then all you need is a pair of scissors and some glue. And that's really it. So I've set up my file that it comes out as two copies of the booster pack on one page and then we just cut this ending up with something like this so as you can see it's more or less the correct dimension and then we just fold it and this little flap here needs to be folded back this is where we'll glue it now what do we put in i've decided to put seven cards in a mix of decipher cards, so here I've got something from the Dominion, the Borg, Blaze of Glory, and a Reflections Foil. And then I have two Dream cards that are entirely my own making, and also a Trek CC virtual promo. As you can see here, we have four cards that are just decipher cards, and three cards that have an extra layer glued onto a decipher card. So these are a bit thicker and we'll also put this in a clear sleeve. So seven cards in this pack is about the thickness that I think works here. A little bit of detail here. You have three different kinds of foils. This is a Trexacy foil that uses just a regular metallic paper. So you have basically no color foiling here. This is one that I've done with some kind of vinyl foil that I found that has a little bit of rainbow effect all over the card. And of course, none of this can match the original decipher card that has this beautiful foiling only on certain parts of the card and it is it is just beautiful here and I haven't been able to create something like that myself. All right, so we will put all these in. In this sleeve here. And then we will seal this shut. Now I've got some roll-on glue here and we'll use it to put some glue here and also here and here. And you have enough space that you won't damage the cards that way. We flap this over here and then it's a little bit of a fiddly moment here in order to get this flap to line up it won't always line up perfectly and then we'll just cut the excess let's do it like this and then 
we can just cut the top half millimeter or so. It doesn't have to be perfect, we are not selling these or anything. And then you have this little flap here, and in the later decipher packs, this was actually glued shut here. And we can even go a step further. Let's get rid of this here too. It's decent the way it is, but what I've done with a couple of these packs is take some adhesive tape and give it some extra protection here and on the other side as well. And then we can use this handy little thing here that I found online. It's called a paper crimper and it does exactly that. If you're careful you can give it this nice effect here that a little bit resembles those sealed booster packs and if you place the cards correctly there is no risk whatsoever of damaging it. But if you don't feel comfortable you can of course just ignore this step in the process here. And the little uh, extra layer of tape here also helps to keep the paper from tearing. My first couple of attempts usually ended with me tearing the paper when I tried to put on the crimp effect here, but with this extra layer of tape that shouldn't be a problem. And then you have this little pack here. As you can see, it's about the same dimension as the decipher pack. Not exactly, but it'll only be opened anyway. So, I'm planning to produce a couple of these for Kaiserfest and if there are some leftovers, maybe I'm going to give some away on the channel here. So make sure to follow us in the summer when the event happens from August 12th to 14. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear about it. And until next time, bye bye.